Hey everyone, it's Mark from cloudbyte.co.uk and I'm very grateful that Logitech sent me the G330 gaming headset, as you can see here, uh, to review. And so this is the review. Okay, so first impressions of these were great. Uh, they're really nice and lightweight, which is the first thing that you notice and the definite thing that you want. These will sit directly on your ears as they're the behind the head design and not over the top, uh, which means your ears are taking the full weight of the headset, so you want something that's really light, and these are definitely that. The band here is uh, fully adjustable as well, as you can see there, so uh, accommodates those of you uh, with a bigger head. Uh, um, which is great and it's also nice and comfortable uh, at first when I was wearing these I was thinking oh I don't know whether I'm not I'm too fond of these uh, I think that's because I was used to an over the head design uh, I've never tried one behind the head before and after using these for a few hours you can't tell that they're there actually you get used to them uh, they sit nice the open ear design at first I was a I was a bit worried that the uh, sound quality would lack, but it doesn't doesn't harm it too much, and it actually stops you getting uh, your ears too hot, which obviously you do when you're you're gaming for a long time. You can see that the ears. Let's just see uh, if this will auto focus on that. Okay, there we go. Um, are made of a, faux, a soft foam material, um, which is really nice as well. Nice and comfortable nice and padded on your ears so uh, you shouldn't have any problems there okay so uh, the microphone how does this work uh, basically you put this on your head like, like that and you flip the microphone in front of your mouth uh, and then you can flip it out of the way when you're not using it uh, either right or right back it's up to you also the microphone is fully flexible you can see there which is really nice um, so you could tilt it right in at your mouth or pop it away a little bit depending on exactly where you need it which is a great idea because too many microphones are made so they're still and they're not suited for you because everybody's different um, you can see here the microphone actually is quite big but it looks quite cool as well nice cool slick design uh, if you've got to have this massive microphone, why not make it look cool? So uh, that's exactly what Logitech have done, and they've put their uh, symbol branding on there, which looks really nice. And you can see just on the other side there, uh, it's just the name of the headset. Okay, so who are these mainly aimed at? Well, mainly gamers on a budget, okay? These aren't too expensive at all. They're not going to compete with your 5.1, your 7.1 uh, surround sound headsets. However, they're going to really compete in the stereo market for those of you who aren't really that bothered about having a surround sound headset or perhaps not on that sort of budget. These retail at around £35, I believe. And for any gamer who is on a budget, who wants a nice, decent headset so they can communicate, definitely this one's worth getting. Okay, so the audio quality. We have to have a look at two different aspects of this. We've got the microphone quality and the earphone quality. The earphones do lack a little on the bass. Uh, they sound a, a tiny little bit tinny, I suppose, uh, but altogether they're not too bad at all, okay? You're not gonna get a brilliant bass sound in this price range. Probably if you get an earphones that are a little more closed, uh, with the closed ear, the earphone design, they do give you a little bit better bass, but then they lack in other means as well. So you've got to weigh it up. Overall though, when I was using these with Modern Warfare 2, I could hear people easily creeping up behind me through walls and things, so that was easy. Uh, the bangs sounded like bangs, um, so do you really need anything more than that? I don't know, maybe. It's up to you. Okay, so for the microphone quality test, I've uh, done a little audio clip for you, and here it is. Okay, so this is a microphone test. What you're hearing right now is the quality of the microphone, which is plugged into the USB adapter and then into the computer. I've used this over TeamSpeak, which is a program like Ventrilo or Skype, and it's used for gamers to communicate to each other. Uh, and friends of mine have said that the quality does seem really good, uh, nice and clear, and no problems with it. 
obviously the microphone has built in noise cancelling which isn't 100% accurate uh, there is a little bit of background noise that it picks up but it is pretty good and considering my computer is pretty loud it's managing to block that out quite well just remember though when you are listening to this uh, right now what you're hearing is through your speakers if your speakers aren't that great you're not going to hear a great quality if your speakers are very good you're probably going to hear pretty much what they sound like okay so let's uh, jump back to the review okay so as you can see the audio wasn't too bad at all the microphone quality is actually nice and crisp nice and clear uh, yes I have used it in uh, TeamSpeak uh, when playing Modern Warfare 2 and a lot of people managed to hear me fine no problems at all I was nice and clear I was clearer than with the Plantronics uh, Gamecom 367 headset as well the microphone in this does seem a lot uh, better than the Plantronics and other headsets that I've tried it's probably the best uh, headset for the microphone that I've tried. Uh, the only issue I do really have with the hot overall sound is the lack of bass. Okay so here we have the inline remote control. Uh, it's got volume up, volume down and a nice mute switch. Ideal for when mum's bringing up your tea uh, and you want to quickly uh, mute the microphone so your friends can't hear. Uh, some people hate these, some people really like them, I personally like them, uh, they're useful and I can't see any better way really of doing it. Uh, also you've got a little clip on the back here uh, which is uh, quite nicely branded, uh, so you can clip it on your shirt, it's easy reach, quick switch and you've muted the microphone. Okay so the cable is 2.4 meters long pretty much. Uh, which is nice as well, uh, not too long, you may need uh, something longer some of you but it was fine for what I needed it, especially with uh, this one being a USB uh, adapter, with a, becoming with a USB adapter even, uh, which means you can put it in the front of your computer rather than having to uh, stretch around the back. You've got this standard jack adapters here so that you can plug these straight into the back, the pink and the green. However, if you don't have a sound card or your sound card's not that great, uh, you can also use this. Now, I was quite shocked. My sound card is a couple of years old now. However, I could not tell the difference hardly at all um, using this USB, which basically gives you a sound card. You plug this straight in. This part acts as a sound card. You plug um, the microphone in like so, the headphones in like so, and you're away no more is needed you don't need to install anything uh, it's just plug and play really easy nice and simple uh, you can use the built-in uh, controls and windows and uh, on the Mac uh, to adjust your audio and your mic and it's nice and simple which is great uh, and it works really well the quality through this was absolutely fine you'll have heard in that uh, the audio test that this that was done through this as well so no problems at all Okay, so overall, the Logitech G330 gaming headset is a great headset. I give it four and a half clouds, if you're not too sure what that means, uh, just go to the blog post, you'll see in the link below. Um, out of five, of course, that is. A uh, great headset, really nice design, nice and lightweight. The microphone was amazing. I can't believe how good the microphone was. Uh, the only issues I have is the uh, is the thin cable and a little lack on the lacking on the base there. Other than that, the headset is really great. Thank you so much to Logitech for sending this to me for the full in-depth review. Make sure you check out the blog at cloudbyte.co.uk. Follow us on Twitter, twitter.com/cloudbyte, uh, and become a Facebook fan on facebook.com slash cloudbyte thanks everybody for watching and uh, remember to subscribe as well there's a giveaway coming up uh, in december a nice christmas giveaway for you there uh, so yeah thanks for watching guys see you later